Reports indicate that retired engineers are being summoned to assist in the production of Stinger missiles, deemed vital to Ukraine's defense against Russian hostility. The U.S. has already sent close to 2,000 of these heat-seeking, man-portable air defense systems, man-pads, produced by Raytheon, to Ukraine. These systems have demonstrated their efficiency in taking down Russian aircraft. This week, the Biden administration announced plans to send more. The FIM-92 Stinger, first manufactured in 1978 and repeatedly upgraded since, allows troops without immediate air support to target enemy aircraft. Utilizing 3D printing and automation in the production of the Stinger isn't feasible as it would require a comprehensive redesign of the weapon and an extensive certification process. Raytheon's president, Wes Kramer, explained to Defense One, you'd have to redesign the entire seeker to automate it. Therefore, the weapons have to be manufactured using the same methods employed 40 years ago. In Bakhmut, Ukraine, on December 29, 2022, Ukrainian soldiers were seen with a US-made Stinger manpad at the front line. Raytheon is reportedly calling back retired engineers to facilitate the production of these missiles for Ukrainian forces. Kramer further noted that they were bringing back retired employees in their 70s and using old blueprints. They were also pulling test equipment out of warehouses and dusting off the cobwebs, he added. The company has had to redesign some components due to obsolete electronics in the missile. Newsweek has reached out to Raytheon for further details. Military analyst Alan Ort shared with Newsweek that for Ukraine, the stingers have essentially run out, a fact now known to Russia. The absence of air cover has hindered Ukraine's counteroffensive, as Ukrainian forces struggle against Russian mines and artillery. He emphasized the strategic importance of stingers, explaining, the stingers are how the Ukrainians hold the high ground with low-tech methods, and we are seeing the results of surrendering the heights along the front currently. The U.S. decision to supply stingers to Ukraine coincides with a new Reuters Ipsos poll, which reveals that nearly two-thirds of Americans back providing weapons to Kiev for their fight against Russia. The poll conducted on June 26 and June 27, following the rebellion by Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin against Russian military command, found that 65% of the 1,004 adult respondents supported U.S. military aid. While less support was seen among Republicans, 56%, compared to Democrats, 85%, the poll showed that 57% of Americans are somewhat closely following the conflict, and 61% express concern for the Ukrainian people. According to Clifford Young, president of public affairs at Ipsos, it is still uncertain whether the brief Wagner revolt against the Russian government will influence American public sentiment, or the already prevalent support for Ukraine among Americans. However, given the durability of American attitudes on the topic, it is unlikely we are going to see significant shifts, he said in a statement to Newsweek.